All right, here we have a Mr. Heater, 75,000 BTU, forced air kerosene heater. Get this open. Pretty much 100% assembled. There's instructions here. All the different model numbers. This one will probably be the 75 KTR for 75,000. The kerosene I have is several years old. So we'll see if it's still any good. Handle here. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. All right, here it is assembled. Handle's held on by two Phillips screws included. This screw fell out, but luckily I found it in the box. They included this handle, along with the screws for it. But, it doesn't go to nothing on this model. Look at the picture. Do you see this on anything? The wheel kit model would have this. So, I don't know. But the diagram doesn't call for it. Check the manual. So it's basically 100% assembled. This is multiple fuels. Not only can it do kerosene, but it can do Jet P8 fuel, number one and number two diesel fuel, and number one and number two fuel oil, in addition to kerosene. But you might have to do a pressure adjustment. So, let's put some old kerosene in here, plug it in, and See if this thing even ignites. All right, it's full of fuel. Fuel gauge doesn't really work that well. It shows it's E, but it's got like probably half a tank in there. So it's full of kerosene. Loosen this plastic out of the way. Let's flip the switch. It's a thermostat. Ignition. Come back. Well, it's been a few minutes, still going strong. I guess the kerosene's all right. At least I can go get it at the local gas station. So, so far it's still running. So I'll keep an eye on it. And if there's any further updates, you'll know about it. If not, just wrap it up.